Hello guys, it's Haig here, and I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual computer for free on your computer. I don't know why a lot of people need help with this, but some people still come to me and want to know how to set up a virtual computer. It's super easy to do. So I made a video in the past, but I'm going to make a more updated version of this. Okay, so obviously to create a virtual computer, you need a virtual uh, software client, either a uh, some of the ones that I use is VirtualBox, which we're going to use in this video. Another one is VMware Workstation. Do your Google search for these two softwares. I recommend v VMware Workstation. Other, actually, VirtualBox for free. VMware Workstation, you may pay for this full version. You get a 30-day trial. And um, in this video, we'll not be using VMware Workstation, but you can download VMware Workstation off their official site. And the, net, the software that we're using today is uh, VirtualBox. And you can get our Oracle VirtualBox off their website right here and download it. All right. So just do a simple Google search for virtual or box and download the client. OK, so once you have the virtual machine client on your computer, in order to uh, actually install a virtual computer, you need a copy of Windows. So if it's Windows 8, 10, 9, sorry, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows XP, whatever edition of Windows you need to have a copy of Windows, either by a CD or a USB stick or a simple ISO file of Windows on your computer and in my case I got a Windows 7 ISO file here on my computer if you don't have these you can always do a torrent on the piratebay.org and you can always easily get the uh, um, search, do a Google search and you can always uh, you can always search for whatever operating system you want if you don't have it so Windows 7 or Windows 10 or whatever Windows you want all right, just do a simple search here. And you'll get your edition of Windows. Sorry for these pop-ups. The Pirate Bay has a lot of pop-ups. So you choose what Windows you want. Off their site. Again, um, there's Windows 10, Windows 7, and you download the torrent and you just install it, alright? If you don't have your, that's if you don't have a copy of Windows yourself, alright? So I cleared the basics, okay? Before I get going, I'll repeat, you need a copy of Windows, alright? Either by DVD that you have bought at the store, or a USB stick, or an ISO copy of Windows that you downloaded, like I have here. So in this case, I've got an ISO of Windows 7, alright? And it's somewhere embedded in here. There it is. Windows 7 disk image file, ISO file right here. Okay, that one right there. Okay, so that's what you need, all right? If you don't have those, you can't do this. So first of all, get, and start installing uh, the virtual box on your computer that you've just downloaded off their website. And then click on all the positive options and click install. All right, and then click install again. It's super easy to set up a virtual machine, all right, once you have all the stuff that you need for it, okay? So once you have VirtualBox installed, what it looks like, so it looks like this right here. So what you need to do is you need to click on this option file, all right? Actually, click where it says new, actually. See where it says new? Click new, and this is going to set up a new virtual machine. You're going to name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this Windows 7. And then here under version, you're going to type what operating system that you're planning on installing. I'm planning on installing Windows 7, so we're going to um, select Windows 7, and then we're going to click next. And then we're going to set as much RAM, all right? So whatever RAM you have on your uh, host computer, you want to give it half of that. So right click on your uh, start menu, just right click in any space of your start menu down at the bottom corner, go into system. And then here it displays how much RAM you have. I have eight, so I'm giving it four maximum. I don't want to give it any more than that or so it would slow my computer down. All right, even if you give it free for Windows 7, that's going to be plenty. So th this, give it maybe 300 megabytes, if you, maybe 420 and 400 megabytes if you're running Windows 10. Then click next. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a virtual hard disk, okay? And you're going to click create. And then you're going to continue and click next and click next again. And you can right here, you're going to come to the size of the hard drive of the virtual computer. All right. You don't need it to be that big. 
maybe 25 gigabytes is plenty or whatever you want it if you want a large quantity of space on your virtual machine to make it as big bigger but keep in mind that's going to come off your hard drive space okay so what you're going to do is you're going to um click create and what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and create um, a virtual machine um, partition up and it's going to say power on Windows 7 now before you do that you want to click machine and in my case because I have an ISO file on the desktop I'm going to click go into sentence and I'm going to go down into where it says storage and I'm going to click add a, right here an optical d device and we're and uh, I'm going to click choose a disk, and I'm going to locate my Windows installation. All right. So if it was if this was you, you would be locating your CD drive, or if you had an ISO on your computer already that you downloaded of Windows, you're going to um sele select the ISO and select the ISO file of Windows 7. All right. And once that's created, you're going to click OK, and then you're going to click Start button here, and this is going to start the virtual machine up, and it's going to prompt you to install windows and from here you just need to follow the on-screen instructions I'm just going to go briefly into this and it's not finding my boot device so that means I need to change something here Alright, so in Virtual Machine Box, you want to actually click on the thing, you want to actually click Live DVD CD and then click on the CD icon over here on the right corner, and you want to click um, Choose a Virtual Optical Disk File, alright, and then choose your ISO. Click No, it's right here, Choose Virtual Optical Disk File, alright, so you can see where I'm clicking, because if you have to do it that way, apparently, for it to work. Once it's choose, click OK, and then click on... Uh, and then uh, start your virtual machine. For whatever reason, it still isn't finding it. Let's see if I click apply and change these settings. Right, we'll power it on now and see if it works. When it works successfully, it's going to start these Windows as loading files. Okay, sorry about that. It was just some settings I didn't change correctly on the VM client. But once you get to start in Windows, you're now prompted to install Windows. It's very easy to do from here on. You're just going to click install by clicking next. I'll make this bigger so people can see it. So you would just click next. Click install and just uh, basically follow the on screen instructions. You can't really mess up from here on in. It's just like installing another program. We'll track, select our operating system and, it, and uh, agree to the user agreement. But it's for, real important here that you choose the custom option, all right? It'll already be selected the 27 allocated space that we created. And then we're just going to it's just going to go ahead and install Windows. From this point on, you just need to let it do it. Follow the on-screen instructions and you'll have your virtual machine up and running. That's how you do it. And uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.